Hello there guys, this is Giryu DCX or Araxis if this is the fleet watching. And I haven't done a gameplay video in a while, but as you can see things are very very different from the last time. Last time I was just raising up to captain level. Now if you look in this top corner, I am Vice Admiral, I am max level. And this is an Odyssey class engineering variant. It is top tier ship. Quick look at what I am currently using on it. Two sets of anti-proton dual banks, rapid reload transphasic torpedo launcher, and beam array at the front. Four beam arrays at the back. Lots of RCS accelerators for getting me to turn around quicker. Damage boosters. Because this is the engineering ver version, I get the chevron separation which basically means this saucer section will come off and fight by itself and I will continue to fly the main hull apparatus so yeah now that I have gotten up to such a high level the missions are a lot different mostly featuring Borg and Undine just going to quickly oh my god that was dreadful just ignore that pressing the wrong buttons oh and I also have a Delta Flyer which has a Breen uh, shield on it there you go that's what it looks like normally and then when I put the Breen set on it changes what it looks like I did have this Breen set on my main ship but I didn't like the look of it so I've got a Mark 12 shield instead uh, I still have the impulse engines which means that when I move the ship as you can see I have ice coming out of my impulse which is awesome right, what I wanted to do on here was have a look at this click reward aha now I'm currently doing my reputation uh, once you hit level 50 vice admiral you, you unlock all these three different reputation projects uh, doing which you can unlock equipment which you can't otherwise get I'm currently doing Borg um, due to the fact that Borg equipment I'll actually contribute doing Borg equipment makes you look cool <laughs> as well as the fact that um, as you can see there on this picture you get Borg adapted equipment as well as it actually being very good equipment uh, now I need to pick one of these upgrade available so I either want nanite regeneration which increases my health or weapon efficiency which increases how much damage my weapons do that is the tier one that you get I have also unlocked equipment sets requisition orders uh, I'm going to cancel that project because I'm not using it anymore Claim tier one reputation rewards requirements. Right, so select that. Yes. Right, if I contribute to this, oh look, yeah, I still have enough Omega marks, and I have enough of this. So there's that completed, filled straight away, and it only takes 15 minutes, which is fan dabby dozy. Add all my expertise into this, and I can buy shield generators if I wish and this one is still going, I've still got another 8 hours for this one to increase so once that one's done I'll be able to start picking up Borg equipment which is always very nice anyway let's jump into a little into a little mission just for you to have a look a look see at what we can do I'm going to change the awards so that it's just Omega Marks and I find that one of my favourites is the Cure and I can jump straight into it so let's have a look at what my ship can do I've got a lot of a new abilities I can generate holographic ships when my hull gets under 50% I can call for another ship to come and help me I have fleet is it yeah science fleet which is a big buff as well as lots of weapon buffs which means I can do a lot of damage very very quickly uh, not so much to the Borg the Borg <coughs> 
even the Borg assimilated ships uh, still can hold up quite well against even this tier it looks like they're already already go and there is a scimitar which is awesome scimitar this is the biggest ship that the star that starfleet have the odyssey but um even so the scimitar which you can see there is absolutely massive in comparison call out these i'm not going to do chevron separation because it actually lowers my shield and my uh, overall whole hit points uh, and the Borg will take advantage of that extremely quickly and just disable me uh, as you can see there the Zeros are floating about trying to make its mind up which uh, which one it wants to go to but it looks like everyone's going down here first so we're going to jump over the top of him and we're going to go down and take out these nanite probes you need to destroy the nanite probes first otherwise you can see I've got a lot of firepower. Uh, you need to destroy the nanite probes first, otherwise you cannot destroy the Borg, uh, the Borg cube. Because the nanite probes actually heal the cube faster than you can do with that. So there's just something for I have a disability, it's called beam overload, it basically means that I do that big beam there, does a ridiculous amount of damage. Fantastic ability. Really, really good for uh, the damage amounts. And then we link it to this one. Take this and then I probe out. Which I'm going to quite happily do now. The only problem with the Odyssey class is it has a very, very, very poor turn rate, which is why we need to use the RCS consoles to improve that. But then you get a lot of inertia right there. It looks like the ship slides around a lot, which it does, it does slide. Torpedo spread just to do a bit of damage to everyone. Why not? This probe is really getting down. Just a bit of a bit of It looks like I have very little support. I have one ship in here. Uh, it's not fantastic support really. I could do with other ships coming to help. But what you're going to do is that plasma burn. is dead but it's on one percent so that probe's dead we've just got this probe left to turn out and if we can build a crazy period it will do that if we spawn in so as you can see it looks like my ship does slide around a lot as if it's flying on ice uh, which is kind of true uh, it does seem to fly on ice Oh, and now the D-derivates, uh, heavy warbirds, uh, oh it's a photonic one, well it's still doing nicely, the more damage the better, and it's split photon spread, and it's on the radiation damage, and this one's probably going to go down anytime soon, there we go, and now it is just the ball cube that is left to take out, I wish I had those rapid fire that, uh, that ship has but uh, the Odyssey unfortunately cannot actually equip uh, that uh, cannot actually equip cannons at all uh, it is a cruiser, it is not uh, a squad or like a warship and there goes the cube which is lovely, we're going to get this out so, so it doesn't do a massive damage now where's everyone at? everyone is seems to be heading towards this one so what we're going to do is we're going to take out this one, and just set everyone up, and I'm going to get in range, we're going to get rid of this ball after first of all, I think. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop, just so the problems in the energy cause is going to stop those. I'm sure I'll manage. Um, I'm sure I'll not die. Oh, so I'm targeting that probe and I'm meant to be targeting that probe. So yeah, so from that probe is leaving the probe, which means that that probe couldn't be killed. So you've got to you've got to be so that's not that it's gonna be killed. Okay, attack a healing probe. And for some reason the ship's turning around the wrong frigging way, what's it doing? No, I'm not. I'm not putting it in 
doing it now we can turn it around there. I don't know why I was targeting that board after, I want to target that. Pull up that little bit of damage, do that and do that. I don't like using my torpedo unless I get one of the abilities on, and I'm gonna get a massive torpedo, which is not good at all. A bit closer. Actually, the spread's going to hit everyone, so it doesn't really matter. I'm down 57%. If I'm going to get 50, I'll be able to summon another ship, but chances are I'll probably die by that point, so it's not fantastic. Shields are looking alright. I'll get a bit of full regeneration so I'll put that in for now. That. That's going to get extra spread damage. No, I want to oh, blow it. No, I want to blow it. I need to go all out on cube now, which is good. Just go all out with spreads. Just fire everything at the cube. Kill the cube. Increase my damage using that. Get a couple of clouds there. Right, so it's just that cube over there, but we're going to have a, a quick break just to let my hull repair. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. Right, so what I'll do is I'll just get my ship to start flying over that way. I'll not do full impulse. Uh, let the the scimitar catch up as well, because the scimitar will be the one that does the heavy damage. Right, sorry about that, uh, just sending a quick message there on my phone, uh, do apologise, I know it's a little bit rude when I'm recording, but uh, I'm, I'm recording this like video out of the blue, I, don't, I wasn't planning on recording any videos, I just did, so I do apologise uh, if it was a little bit unprofessional, but yeah, what are you going to do? Right, optional objective was a success, what's his face? Still had 75% of his full. Right, let's just take these guys out of this. This is just stupid. We really shouldn't have been here. We should have been here. This is one gone. One gone. And then those, and when those top leaders hit them, we can say when those top leaders hit them, that one's going to be gone, but they didn't quite hit him. Oh, and he died before my top leaders hit. Marvelous. Right. Now what's going to happen is we're going to have a, a giant carrier. There we go, a simulated carrier. Now this carrier is going to launch out a lot of uh, ships. Um, which is going to make it a little bit problematic, but I've done this mission so many times now, usually this ship goes down really quickly because everyone else, as you can see, we're, we're all level 50, we're, we've all got good equipment, we all go around and wipe the floor with this ship, to be honest. I mean, I could actually stop moving, just get in position and just lay under them. Without having to really do anything. Uh, the twin torpedoes, the high yield ones. I'm just laying them. I'm just in range. Oh, I'm out of range now, I think, nearly. I was moving a bit closer. Yes, you're on being, being overload. Blasting the crap out of it. Right, and it's gone. So, what you get for that is you get all sorts of goodies. Oh, I love them. Um, there, I'm getting Omega Marks, Dilithium, and Polaron, and, and, and Polaron Turret that time. So that's marvellous. And now what I can do is I can just look at the map. And that's basically what a PV is. It's just a situational uh, mission, which you can do with other players. doesn't have to be anyone that you know. It just randomly plops you in. Um, 
and when you finish it you, you you can get well that one was for Omega marks primarily but you get a dilithium a piece of equipment the marks that you wanted and um, some missions allow you to choose different types of marks some missions give you dilithium primarily as well as gear and um, so there's a lot of different ways to earn stuff via PVE um, like this one all, all that's Omega marks but there you go you get fleet marks for for the fleet that you're currently in dilithium or gear Romulan marks Omega marks the only way to get um, do, 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 Nakura marks there is by doing these missions which allow you to choose marks you can't there's no specific as you can see there's no specific reward choice for Nakura marks uh, which is a bit of a bummer but they might change that later on down the line uh, so now I have 20 back up to 21 of them I have no Nakura marks I should really get some just to finish that off and oh I can click the rewards of my Romulan uh, projects which is pretty snazzy no available projects am I oh I'm up to rank one so I need to cancel this project and then I need to do 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 do, do, do tier one Romulan so you get to see me upgrading both Romulan and uh, Borg at the same time which is pretty nice the Borg one's only got two minutes left to go that one's only got 40 minutes which is pretty cool now what I'm going to show you whilst I wait for that just so you can see what you get for it is um, I'm going to show you the other ship that I like to use uh, I've got this Odyssey class which I've just got recently so that's why I'm using this um, it, it's also a lot more tanky than the other ship that I've been using it's a lot bigger it's, it's a lot more bulky um, but the other ship I've been using it can load out cannons it's smaller it's faster it's more a bit more like an escort uh, it's uh, you know it's a gun and run you, you you dive in you hit them with everything and then you run away again you come back and you do the same again um, it also has really powerful uh, auxiliary phaser cannons which do which have higher power rating like a damage rating than any of the cannons that you can buy as far as I can tell anywhere that I've I've checked on the exchange etc um, so I've kept them on but that uh, them cannons can only be equipped by that ship uh, it's ship specific oh and this is my new outfit now that I'm uh, a fleet admiral like it within the fleet I'm uh, within the fleet I'm a full fleet admiral now instead of vice admiral I got promoted again so this is what I look like now uh, full bl blues and whites whites because I'm an admiral blues because I'm a science officer and there is our fleet logo the Sigma task group op Starfleet Operation Sigma task group speaking of which we are nearly tier two now. We just need to get our what is it to do starbase. We need to do this upgrade starbase here, and then we'll be tier two. But we still got with two days for industrial fabricators to be finished, which is a bit annoying to say the least. But nevertheless, it is worth it. Just going to have a quick look to see who's on. Um, do 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 do, do fleet rank. Alright, I know he's on now, so that's okay. Alright, let's go and see what this other ship is that I have, that I like to use. Those of you who play, just by me describing what kind of ship it is, will probably know what ship it is. Uh, but for those of you who don't play, because I know a lot of people still don't play this game. These are the ships I have. This is a mirror cruiser from the alternate universe. Uh, I managed to get that out of a temporal lockbox, I think, or something like that. I got quite lucky. I have a Sovereign class Assault Cruiser, which I no longer need to use. My Odyssey class, which you've just seen me in action with. That is a retrofit. That's uh, Vice Admiral Blockade Runner. Yeah, I got that because I have the Steam Starter Pack. And the other ship that I like to use is the Multi-Mission Surveillance Vessel. It is much smaller than the Odyssey. Um, it might not look it from here, but it is actually a lot smaller than the Odyssey. But it's a lot faster. It comes with these Mark 12 cannons. Uh, as well as doo -doo -doo, the thermion transceiver, the sympathetic thermion transceiver, which is a good way to heal, and it has a hangar, so I can deploy ships as well to help me. I also have a little midgy, which you get for free by doing a mission, and then I got the delta fly because it is a lot better. So yes, the only other ship that I am interested in currently is a heavy assault carrier, uh, which you can ac well, actually, if you look out the window, you, that's it there. You can see it there. Um, 
I'm more interested because it has a torpedo defense system which looks really cool because it shoots a barrage of torpedoes in all directions which looks fantastic uh, where is it there we go there there uh, the heavy escort carrier. I think it's called Thunderchild. Yeah, it's called. This is called the Thunderchild. But you also have the old Akira, which I don't like the look of at all. The Oslo, which again looks disgusting, and the Zephyr, which looks even worse. So I'm glad that they changed it up so that it looks really unique. Um, but this is. Well, sorry, this is the Armitage class. Um, it has a hangar bay with a wing of pe peregrines, the photon torpedo point defense system, which I want, and it can load cannons as well, which is really cool. So that's a very much a gun and run, but from a distance you can hit them with torpedoes, and gun it's basically just a big gunboat, um, which is awesome. Right, do we have much longer to wait on our reputation? Collect reward, get in. Right, so I need to choose one. I want the weapon proficiency for ground because my ground attacks are not very good at all um, do, 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 do. next project situational report uh, I don't want mago shields I don't want a personal armor I can't be bothered with that space gear this is what I'm wanting space gear similar to deflector Simulated impulse and regenerative shield array, universal console, a simulated universal console. Um, what does that actually do? Yeah, it just does something. And what I want is primarily is the engines. Um, they're sub trans warp engines, so they're a lot faster in subspace. I think I'm going to select that as my next project for that one, and then ooh, what do I want? The regenerative shield array or the deflector? Probably the deflector. Actually, no, the shields. The shields look awesome. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's me just chit chatting to myself. Right. So I need to wait for these two to be done. How long do these take? How long do these take to be done? They take two minutes to complete once you've completed them, but you require 450 Omega Marks, which is a. Well, actually, sorry. 450 Omega Marks, which is a bitch. 14,000 Dilithium, which is a bitch. 10,000 Expertise, which isn't too bad. And 8 Warp Coils, which is a bitch. So, yeah, a lot of garbagey bitchiness. Not happy about it at all, but what are you gonna do? Anti Borg Proton Rifle. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. Oh well. So that may take me a while because I'll have to do plenty of PVEs to get the Borg equipment, but. Ah, what are you gonna do, eh? So anyway, this is just. That was just a video just to show you my new ships, my PVEs, and the fact that I am up to a high, a maximum rank now. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that this video and much more to come. Both fleet videos and just gameplay videos. This is Giryu DCX slash Araxis of Fleet Sigma Task Group. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you all later.